I'm Mil Spooky, a content creator for Soul Gaming, and this is how the number one catalyst on PC with 22,000 kills on this legend alone utilizes her crazy outplay potential. The G7 did use, still does, so this mic, but yeah, I agree. Going into this building fight, I want to push into this knowing I've got control of this front door. Growing my tack here cuts this exit off from the enemy. My thought process is to ult inside so I have limited their playable space making this an easier fight for myself. Uh, did I get scanned? This is a very open building, which isn't ideal for a non-movement legend or a legend without an escapability like Catalyst. So with this ult, I'm able to reduce space between me and the targets, closing this gap, making an easier fight for me to control. Sticking close to my wall so I can slide back into it and pop a reload, and then I can attack again from a slightly different angle. Before this fight even starts, I lock down this door as a safety net for myself, something I can back up to if I'm losing. This is something every catalyst should be getting into the habit of doing. Between swapping weapons out, I close the door that I've already locked down as I'm getting shot in my ass by this Mirage's teammate. Doing so has made this 1v2 into a 1v1v1. This Luba lost the fight before it even started. I own the door. She can't interact with it, making this an easy cleanup for me. I'm being shot from a very open space, so I use my ult to make closing the gap easier for myself. I take control of the door before the fight even really starts for that added security. Massive arc stick right there. Now the Bloodhound is temporarily out of the fight. I gotta make quick work of this Wraith. Once again, making a 2v1, a 1v1, v1. Risky, but fuck it. Woo! Get off me, pussies. Quick little throw, little tack throw to limit the lifeline's playable area. Right here, lifeline has emptied both her mags in her weapons and sticks the res on her teammate. I utilize this time. She can't shoot at me due to the reload and res animation to output as much damage as like humanly possible. Get off me, pussies. <laughs> well, this small wall obviously meant to divide the enemies, but it glitched, leaving me with not much. But it's alright, it's still visual blur. Right here, technically. Right here, I'm bombing and weaving past my tack because that ball that you can see on the screen right there, that can absorb 300 damage. So right now, I'm going to be using it almost like a body armor to help me win.
Catalyst Tactical can push enemies off doors as it seeps through to the other side, forcing the enemy off the door. Using as much unpredictable movement as possible to increase my survival rate right here. <laughs> This is an open space, I'm all in here so I can maneuver easier and with more freedom. Alright, I stopped moving, I don't know if you caught that, but I stopped moving for a hot sec so he could catch up. I use the left side of my screen to see when he appears on my side of the wall so that I can go back in for a nasty little armor swap without being shot and then dive back into my ult so he loses where I am before I reappear to kill him. These boys were so lost, <laughs> these boys were too lost man. Did you?